This is it. Our first day working on the plane together. So I was about to put together the video going over what we did on day one and realized that I should probably go into a little bit of the terminology and about the tools and the items that we're going to be using just to make sure it makes sense for everybody. So let's start first with the Clicos and that would be these. These are little fasteners that we use to attach different parts of the plane together as we are drilling it or putting in the rivets and assembling it and it just helps temporarily hold them together. So the way it works is you see it you can't can't do it with your hand. It's a really strong. Instead you take a pair of these pliers and it attaches there on the lip. And then when you squeeze them, it pushes the plunger and out comes the tip here. And you're then able to put the ditch more than one piece of metal there. And when it slides back down, it will pinch and hold them together really tightly. So for example, I have these pieces here that we were working on yesterday. And so for example, you can see that you can, here I'm lining up the holes and I'm gonna take one of these Clicos, which is the right size. And so I squeeze it to get it to come out. And then I line it up through the holes. And so you can see there it's popped out. And then as I let go, it will slide down and it will hold those in place. And so now, those two pieces are held together pretty well. So you would go in then and, uh, for example, you finish installing here temporarily. So I would go in and repeat that there and here. And so now you can see I have all three of these pieces that are now held together pretty well. And what I'm able to do then is I can now take the drill and go in and match drill these other holes here to make sure that they line up perfectly. And so that just makes sure that I have everything completely lined up while I'm doing any of the drilling or the riveting and want to make sure that all the pieces are perfectly aligned. So um, besides the Clico pliers, you might also see us using the um, Clico gun that we have to use with the air compressor, which just comes in handy when you're doing a lot of different Clicos. Um, because as, as I showed you here, you know, I mean, this, this, you cannot just squeeze this. This does take quite a bit of effort after a while. If you imagine doing this over and over, trying to get multiple different Clicos in and out of the plane, uh, it can get a little bit tiring. So it's nice to have that when we're doing lots of different, uh, Clicos. So uh, the difference with the colors is about the size. So the silver ones here are for the 332nd uh, holes that we'll be drilling for the rivets or um, screws. And then the uh, bronze ones here are for the 1 8 inch. So that's what the difference is with the colors. And you're able to easily tell which ones you need to grab uh, depending on which parts of the plane you're working on. Uh, the other term that's kind of come up I think I actually even mentioned it in the last video with the making the first cut is deburring. And so I have here uh, for an example, this is a piece of the scrap metal that we haven't done because it's scrap, but to try and show you, and hopefully this comes up well, I don't know if you can see, this went through the bandsaw and there's lots of these little rough edges. It's not very smooth, it's dangerous, it's gonna scratch other pieces of metal if this was to come in contact, the pieces wouldn't sit flush. And so we have these different deburring tools, which is to help smooth those edges down. So this one, for example, you might see us use is to use like on an edge where you would scrape it along. And again, this isn't actually part of the plane, this is just a scrap piece just to try and show you. But now if you look up close here, you can see where I just scraped it. It got rid of all that, that little, the burrs, the little rough edges that were there from the bandsaw where it cut. So, and then another deburring tool, for example, is this one, which you would use on little holes. So the same thing happens whenever we drill holes into parts of the plane, just like when we run it through the bandsaw or use the snips is it's going to have a rough edge and so we can take this 
here, this little um, deburring tool, and you would uh, put it into the hole and just very gently run it around. And what it would do is same thing. It would just sc gently scrape off with the little tip here uh, any little rough edges that are there around the, the hole. So anyway, so that covers the Clicos and the deburring, with, just to make sure that y'all understand when you see what we're doing in the video um, and so it all makes sense. Okay, so now that we've got that out of the way, here we are on our first day putting together the plane. So we are working on the vertical stabilizer. You saw in the previous video about how we cut down the rear spar caps. And so now we are clicoing them to the rear spar and match drilling. And every time you drill, you've then got to take everything apart and deburr it. So it's quite an interesting process. It takes a bit of time, but it's really fun working on it together. Uh, we also went and, uh, let's see, we attached the rudder hinges and the spar doubler and um, went and did all the match drilling with that as well. Just to give you an idea of what exactly we're doing in all the videos, you can see here at the bottom I've put what day we're on, what section we're working on, and which steps we've completed in case you're following along in a manual if you're building your own. Uh, and I'm also going to put a little picture in here somewhere uh, to show you exactly which part of the plane we're working on. So I will put the parts that are work in progress or that we're currently working on in pink, and then I will put uh, the parts that we've completed as we do so in blue, just so that that way you can follow along and get kind of an idea of exactly what it is. Because sometimes when you're working on the pieces and they're slowly coming together, you can't really visualize what it is. And I thought that might be um, something nice to help you follow along with everything. Um, we're working on a workbench that I actually built myself. I might do a video about that to just show some of the prep work that goes into getting ready to start the build. It's, this is the stuff to do beforehand. And I uh, might also go over how we unboxed and organized the crate after we got it, just to kind of show um, how we took all those pieces and after inventorying them, put them all together. So, uh, sorry for the little jingle noise, that's my dog walking in here. So you'll be seeing both of them in another video, <laughs> but Anyway, uh, hope you enjoy, and we'll have some more videos coming up from the other progress we've been making. We're now actually on the rudder, and talk to you later.